Hello and welcome to the Workload Automation channel. In this video, we will see how to deploy a new workload automation environment in an Amazon EKS cluster. In the link in the description, you can find all the information needed to download the packages and to initialize your workload automation namespace. To deploy a new instance, the first step is to create a new secret to store the database and console user passwords. The Kubernetes secrets require base64 encryption. To encode your passwords, open a bash shell and follow the steps. Save the file and run the kubectl apply command. Now open the values.yaml file. Here you can customize your deployment. You can enable all the components you need, use your custom storage class, link the pod to your on-premise database and much more. Once you have set the parameters, you can deploy the instance by running the elm install command. All the components will spawn in separate pods and in any moment you can take a look to the installation log. In about 10 minutes, the environment is up and ready to use. You can start to work with your server or access to the console. If you need to scale your environment, change the replica count parameter of the component you want to scale and then run the elm upgrade command. Remember, all the dynamic agents will be directly linked to the master. And if you already have a server deployed, all the other replicas will be automatically installed as backup masters. If you install Grafana, you can import Workload Automation Custom Dashboard and keep track of your environment. The Custom Dashboard comes with a lot of useful metrics, collected to help you to keep your environment always healthy. That was it. For more details, check the information in the description. If you like this video, subscribe for more contents.